Hey, good morning, my friends. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. Hey, how about this? It's December and two days in a row I wear the tropical shirts. And you've got two more days of it, too. I've got them all lined up in the closet. Um, today, I think, is a very nice day. Uh, I see a lot of the weather service forecasts say mostly cloudy. And a lot of your phone apps probably pick up on that. But let's get started and I'll show you. I don't think mostly cloudy everywhere. These are high clouds coming in and the sunshine goes through them. So I'd call it partly sunny. I'd call it a very nice December. That is, unless you are a winter lover and you want us to be socked in by snow. And 49% of us in Michigan like that. As I get older though, I'll be honest, when mother nature gives us this break, I just doggone take it. So Let's have it. I actually have some apples to rake up in the yard and uh, all kinds of good things to get to in the yard today. All right, so let's get into the modeling here. And thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. I'm going to show you the warmth coming this way for the next couple of days, then a cold front. This can't last forever, and it won't. Um, and we'll look out into the extended forecast as well. Still a little bit too iffy for Christmas and whether there's a white Christmas, but in the next four or five days, we can start looking at that. So here's your European model uh, today. This What I'm showing you there is just the warmth coming in on a fairly gentle breeze. This evening and overnight, I should say, light rain showers develop on the heels of the strong southerly southwesterly warm winds and then wednesday into the southwesterly flow you see those light gray shades and if you could look over to the bottom right that's the legend so over a six hour time period we could have a few hundredths of an inch of rain maybe a tenth that's pretty light rain but you know still don't plan on it being a a beautiful dry day for tomorrow, but very warm. Now, Thursday morning, the cold front is still off to the west, coming through the state during the middle of the day and to our south by evening. So at uh, you know, 60 degrees, you got to have falling temperatures during the afternoon. Friday's a dry day. Snowbirds starting to think about escaping. Uh, Saturday, maybe a little glancing blow of a one or two inch snow in the far southeast Detroit Ann Arbor the thumb and then next week fairly quiet uh, we're into Tuesday and we're into Wednesday of next week still fairly chilly but just little batches of an inch or so of snow here and there all right now let's look at the incredible stuff um I guess I gotta stay kind of Oh, what do you call it? You know, where you're not, where you're not, oh, I don't want to use the word politician. I got to stay even. Um, is that bipartisan? You know, between winter lovers and non-winter lovers. Uh, so I can't get too excited. I got to calm yourself down, Mark. Calm yourself down before you show these temperatures. Ah, heck, I got outside work to do. So I'm excited about it too with, um, uh, with many people. So here we go. Uh, high temperatures today, 46, 47 in the south. And then tomorrow, look at uh, temperatures around 60 degrees in a lot of places, even Traverse City, mid to upper uh, 50s. Thursday, we start in the 60s in the southeast half of the state. Even Alpena could come close to 60 in Tawas, near 60 degrees. But remember, it's a cold front coming through, so you will have falling temperatures during the day. And we settle back to pretty close to normal by Friday. Uh, low 40s in the south, that's still warmer than normal, but mid-30s, uh, Saginaw, uh, and then upper 20s in the north. And then Saturday, we are back to normal in the low to mid-30s. And Sunday, we're a little cooler than normal in the upper 20s for highs. Monday, low 30s, Tuesday, mid to upper 30s, low 30s, and then that takes us out to Thursday, December 23rd, and about 30 degrees. So yesterday, 
the European was showing a warming trend developing at that point. It's backed off on that, and we just have to kind of keep an eye on that one. Uh, how much snow over the next 16 days? Not a lot for this time of the year. This is the average snowfall. Um, so, you know, a couple of inches in the southern half of the state and maybe maybe five to seven inches in the northern half over the course of 16 days. And that comes in three or four little one or two inch snows. So we're in a tough spot right now as far as an extended forecast. There's a, a teeter point is what I call it. So there's a big cold air mass in the western part of Canada, Alaska, trying to invade the northwest corner of the U.S. There's a very warm dome of air, obviously, and we're in part of it, and that's centered in the southeast. So does the cold stay back to the northwest and we teeter up into the warmth, or does the cold in the northwest swing through? Another thing that we need to think about is so much drought out in the western half of the country, that would tend to want warm, dry conditions out there. So I could see a scenario where the cold swings in and the heat backs up to the western part of the country, but that's not a La Nina pattern, and La Nina may dictate everything. So I'm just going to show you this here, and we're going to keep an eye on it. Um, and I'm going to tell you, be honest, I don't have the exact answer for the rest of the winter, but this is going to go out 16 days. This is the upper level temperature anomaly. Obviously there, that's the Wednesday night, Thursday, when we are some 30 degrees warmer than normal. And you can see the cold out in the northwest, and it's going to make a little piece come at us the weekend and early next week. And I would anticipate that even if the cold stays in the northwest part of the country in western Canada for most of the winter, I would anticipate little pieces break off and come at us for uh, three to five days. But then as we get toward Christmas, notice the extreme cold developing out in the west, western Canada, uh, 30 degrees colder than normal, and notice the extreme warmth continuing in the southern part of the U.S. And what I pointed out yesterday, that as we end this at uh, December 29th, that right there is a classic La Nina pattern. Cold in the northwest, warm in the southeast. Michigan teeters between the two, where you can get two or three days of extremely mild conditions, and then a little piece of the cold breaks off and drops us back to highs in the 20s. But all in all, when it does that, it makes for a winter that isn't too harsh as far as cold temperatures go, because you get some breaks. You get a chance to chip the ice off the sidewalk and get back to you know, concrete again, stuff like that. So, hey, there's your update. Enjoy it today. Get out and do some yard work if you can. Tomorrow and Thursday are warm, but they're a little bit on the showery side. So thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update, brought to you by Consumers Energy. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Take care.